All right, what is up everyone? Another beautiful day in paradise out here. Super sunny. I just wanted to show you guys uh, what I'm working with here at the shop and how bad this actually got. So I emptied this bucket when I left last night, but as you can see it overflowed. The leak's so bad now that the bucket overflowed after I emptied it, five gallons of water came through that roof. Um, you can see the black mold. This is why I haven't been living here. Because it's too fucked up. Like, And then obviously, literally, I don't know if you can see the white shit all over the floor. And all this water here pretty much fucking up all my shit. Like this thing's probably straight up ruined. Oh, no. Works fine. Which is insane. But this thing just exploded. All the shit went everywhere. So like, that's how crazy this leak is. It's coming all the way over here, buckling the ceiling. And there's just shit everywhere, literally. So like, thank God the GoPro, or I mean the drone batteries were over here. I don't think they got wet at all. That would suck. I literally just spent a hundred on one. But I think they were far enough out of the zone that they were good. But uh yeah, I gotta really do something about this because it's a serious, serious problem at this shop. But you can't let little things like this get you down really. Cause like in the end it doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna keep pushing on. All right, just posting some stuff on on Craigslist. I got a few things on here already. Uh, I think like five things up right now that I'm just trying to sell because I don't want to deal with them. Like sell them for cheap, get them out of here. That's the plan. So I'm gonna have to go cut this one grass today. Well, I'm actually working on some kind of an art project right here for the dream. This one's not going on today. I don't know if we got unplugged or something, but we like to have it on for the dream. Unless the, the, the paint ruined it, I guess. Could be, could be. But I want to do like a whole wall of TVs, kind of like, and like this has a whole room of just craziness. So that's the plan. It's a work in progress for sure. Another claim I got going. Got these tomato plants for free from Dickey. Got this from a clean out. I bought the soil, eight bucks. Not bad for two cubic feet. Um, I don't think it's bad because it has all the right nutrients and stuff. But uh, I'm just going to make this a flower pot. This little, this little guy. But uh... Alright, so this is the claim so far. This is the lampshade top that I just turned into a little thing. I'm going to zip tie these guys together and probably to here. But um, this is what I got going. I got one in here and three in there. I think that, that these might be bunched too much together, but I'm going to just see what happens. Uh, I don't really go by, you know, the rules ever. But that's the claim and I'm about to go hit the sesh here. And I'm seeking for this lawn I gotta do. Alright, we're off to We're off to the job. Finally, we got a really late start. But we are headed there now. And I'm actually about to check out this horde I'm seeing up ahead in the trash. It looks like potentially a lot of good stuff, so might just be going right back. 
All right, never mind. They were cleaning out their garage. Either way, they're probably gonna throw some stuff out later tonight. I'll just go back there and check it out and grab whatever I can when I get back over here. But either way, we are headed to Absecan. A couple chain of events that led to this brutality. Um, not, not, not the work part's not brutal. But I'm gonna hit Absecan house, clean up the rest of the trash, cut the grass, and then I'm going to go to the Home Depot right down the street and I have to buy another grinder because the consensus is that when those guys bought the pool table, they stole stuff from me too that I told them I wasn't selling, which is totally messed up. Uh, that's what you get for just letting total strangers into your house though, I guess. And it just, uh, a lesson learned can't really be that trustworthy of people that seem cool right away because you never know. So they stole grinder and saw from me that I sold them, I was selling them tools for a dollar a piece that were easily worth 20 bucks. So they just totally screwed me over. No questions asked. But um, that's the claim, gotta buy a new grinder. And I had Ben's car, the Toyota 4Runner, on, on Craigslist. But in all reality, it's not even fair to sell parts off of it because it's such a rust bucket. Maybe the transmission, that's about it. Everything else is just, everything underneath the car is totally ruined. Um, someone wanted a rear uh, drive crank drive shaft, but I looked under there, I was gonna send them pictures, and it's not even worth their time. So I'm literally just gonna cut the car apart and just scrap it piece by piece. I gotta get it out of there. But uh, that's the dream right now. All right, so here we are at this house over here in Absecan. Same house over and over again. The one I just took the carpet out of, uh, the one I've been cutting, and the one I cleaned out with Kagan. So here we are again. This is gonna be the third time cutting the grass for the dream. Straight up for the boys. Straight gas. No filter on this one, boys. Hopefully I, hopefully I can finish the session here. Because I just ran out of gas. Oop. Well, part of the job description coming up on a bunch of shit like this. That wasn't even supposed to be in the claim. But luckily for me, there's a woods right next to it. So I can just throw them in there. But uh, if there wasn't, I would have had to bag these or put them in my truck. And I didn't even cut these. Someone else did. My job's strictly to cut the grass. But that's what happens when you're out here working. You get thrown curveballs. Curveballs after curveballs all day long. So never get mad when you have to do extra work for the same money because it happens all the time. All right, we're pretty much done over here. I put some stuff out to the trash over there to keep life. This little net, which is aluminum if I want to scrap it. And this grill, which is just scrap, aluminum legs. This hose possibly, I think I know someone who could use it for something. But uh, I'm just gonna blow off this driveway and that's it. We're out of here. All right, we're back at the Home Depot. Staple in my life over here. I'm gonna get a grinder, possibly some cranks for the Anderson windows, and a hose for my shop back if they just sell the hose. Not sure. Going into the tool section right now for the dream. Tool free guard change. Angle grinder. Whip battery. No battery. Cordless. That's pretty much the dream right there. This is 
what we're getting. Cordless this time. Going cordless. All right, got the grinder. Cordless this time. Uh, stepping it up because now I can hit the field with this. The couple charged batteries and not have to worry about plugging in anything. Um, say scrap yard and I need to get a piece off. Uh, any situation really out in the field. Um, didn't get anything else. I think we're just gonna order the cranks online and the vacuum thing can just wait. I might be able to hook up some of this tube that I got actually and just like tape it on there. That's probably the cheapest idea at least. But on to the next stream, boys. I just totally walked part past my truck all the way over there because I thought that Ford was my truck just because it looked somewhat the same. I don't know how many times you've done that, but I do it all the time. All right, about to roll into this sketchy ass liquor store to get a couple 40 ounces for a photo shoot uh, that I'm gonna try and do later. I just went here because I know they have 40s. It's a fact. If they don't, I'll be severely surprised. This is the claim right here, boys. Most classic label ever. Sketchiness of this place did not fail me. Country Club, 40 ounces with the most classic labels straight out of a movie in my opinion. Uh, I don't see why anyone else would ever drink this unless it was for the art aspect of it. So, now it's perfect. So we got some pro mechanics in the house. Turn in the ba backyard. I got I got YouTube videos. You guys don't care if I film or you do? Uh, so pretty much they're turning my backyard into an actual you pull it over here need a, uh, yeah, need a so my brother will be pumped that someone's using this for other than scrap because he loved this car in the day so what does that thing do it makes it a positive instead of a one wheel do you have the same car, right? The red one? Yeah. I, I passed you going the other way. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, I got three of them. Oh, you love these things, huh? Yeah, and I got a Tacoma. Day for the boys, though. I got you right now. Let me get a shout out of Browns Mills, 609. We're here getting them used parts. Um, Me and Roberto. Living the dream, right? That's about it, yeah. I mean, that is the dream, dude. These guys know. Fuck. It. Total legends. But yeah, it should be.